Well guys, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Now that I know what parts I needed to get my car running in top shape, I have, it's part of the uh, EGR system, so I'm going to attempt to put this all on here. The first thing I have to do, I noticed there was a pop, uh, this plastic thing just releases very, very conveniently and it looks like it's only held on by Oh, okay, that turns. Ah, oh, jam my finger. Oh, look at that. That comes off just like a, a cap of some kind. I don't like how wide open that leaves your engine, though. I'm going to put that back on. So that comes off. Yeah, I'm definitely putting that back on. Pretty cool. Okay, so that goes there. Put that back. The Autel code scanner told me I had a bad thermostat and a uh, purge valve. So according to the codes, I've got to replace the purge valve as well. Um, it showed me there was a small leak and also the purge valve, which the two could be the same. That could be very well the same issue. So, looking in here, it looks like this is it back here. So I might have to change the camera angle. I think, let me see, we're looking at, oh, wait a minute, why is this got a screw? You see there's, oh, there it is. The wire there. Well, that's a weird it says it was an exact fit. That doesn't look the same, unless it just clips on in a weird way. How does that clip on? Okay, I'm going to see how this comes off, but that looks like that's it. I hope that my 10 millimeter is the same size. I'll get you the camera angle over there when I figure out what I'm doing. I don't know if I can get in there very easily. All right, I'm going to figure this out off camera. Now, you can't see exactly what I'm working on. Let me take the camera off the tripod and show you for a minute what I'm doing. Okay, up behind the, uh, the on the back side of the engine, there's this, there's a hose going in, there's an electric connection here it's hard to see and there's the purge valve that I need to replace right there this unit alright and a quick internet search gave me an idea it was on the back side of the engine but I couldn't really tell on the rough drawing so there's that I just was able to look and, and uh, figure it out I don't know if we'll be able to show you as I work but I'm just gonna take off one screw here and then figure out how this hose comes off once I get it in my hand and in the wire there so, I actually sort of loosened that when I had the, the, it wasn't tight. I think it might be, yeah, I might be able to take that off my finger. When I was sizing up the wrench, it came loose that easy. That is really, really, really loose. Now again, I got to be careful not to lose that in here. That bolt, very valuable. Uh. Now, that, is there a gasket on that? What's holding that in? So there's very simply a, it pops in. Yeah, it's not coming out. It's just a little gasket on it. I hope I don't the wrong one. I hope I don't damage it. Ah, there it is. That's it. Oh, wow. Nasty. Ooh. I'm going to have to rub that down a little bit, too. So there's the old one. Now you can probably see what I got out here, right? Okay. Now I don't know how about this. Ah, mosquitoes are coming out. I don't know how this hose comes off, to be honest. There's no real good instructions anywhere to be found very easily. So, um, 
I gotta figure that out. I need this wire out of my way. I hope that doesn't break. It's a danger with old, old stuff. Yeah, it's awkward. Alright, I'm gonna pop that wire out and I'll be back. Okay, um, I was nervous about that. I w didn't know what I was doing. I got it off. Where'd I put it? Um, it looks like it's a spring loaded. Yeah, okay, it was supposed to be spring loaded. I see. Alright, I took some playing around. The mosquitoes are making this job a little bit harder on me. Alright, I've got to clean off that aluminum surface over there on the back of that before I put the new one on. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay, I had to actually put my little finger in there and wipe off the oxidization as good as I could. Now we can put the new one on. Is it going to hold that? Yeah, mosquitoes are terrible. So, very simple. Very, very simple when you know what you're doing here. That goes in, and then that goes on. Done. And then the electric fitting goes on. Done. And then this goes in like this. Back inside there. Up in there. Good. And then carefully get that screw in. Very, very, very simple. Well, I, I'm, I'm liking this car. I am so happy how easy this thing is to maintain. Uh, this is the easiest modern vehicle I've ever worked on. I've done the tie rods. Um, sadly, the control arms, there's no uh, lubrication points on these things. The control arms is a one-piece unit. It's a $100 thing. And I'll probably be doing that. I don't know if I'll get to it yet this summer, but it's something I want to do. Because there's no... Uh, there's no lubrication joints. Your ball joints are part of it. Okay, that's it. That's all done. That is it. So, thanks to my Hotel OBD2 scanner, uh, this job is done, and my car should be running more efficiently. Now, um, there's only two things left to do. Done isn't done until I put the cover back. I just am shocked how easy that went. Really, I'm amazed. Because, you know, honestly, I've never had stuff go that smooth on a newer car. Not like that. And then that, look at that. I mean, that... That's it. I love it. That's it. This job is done, guys. Now I get to find out if the car runs more efficiently on our trip to work tomorrow. We're going to find out if we have a much more efficient car. But based on the appearance of those parts I replaced, I'd say uh, there is definitely room for... Uh, Improvement. Alright guys, well that's a very simple, short, quick, easy video. It took me more time to find the tools than it did to get this put together. So thanks for watching. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon down there to get uh, notifications when I upload a new video. And follow us on our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget and repairing your own car is a major part of self-sufficiency saving money well i gotta go in and being drained of blood talk to you all later